Hello Disney Infinity fans! Today I want to show you something really cool. Because my buddy Line THD showed me last year how to build a collection pen from scratch with toys from the Logic Toy Store. Thanks for that Line THD. Well, and today I want to show you how you can build this in your own toy box world. Have fun watching guys! So normally you would use um, a collection pen from the toy store. You know, the one over there with the Infinity logo. Well, I'll put down a little demonstration here for you to see how it normally looks like. Uh, Baymax just has to press the button, please. Yep, you see the um, yellies are there. You can put them in the pen, make them disappear by entry if you like. Uh, but I want to show you something different. For my pen version, um, you must use a trigger area. What we need as well is uh, small vertical barrier pieces, which you can style actually. And I would say let them style to castle latch hangs. Uh, we must set the theme because we need eight of them, two on each side. Yeah, I think that looks a lot more like a collection pen now. Yep. Two on each side. Cool. So, uh, the other logic toys we need. Uh, yep. It's a friendly wave generator we need. We do need a radar marker. We need a counter, a sound generator, and of course the blue team activator for it to work, as well as four locators, from uh, which we make locator connections to the friendly wave generator. Cool. On the blue team activator, uh, we have to make a team connection to the friendly wave generator and set the team to blue when they spawn. Okay, so and on the radar marker, we do need an actor connection to the friendly wave generator, which are the actors in this case. So to configure the wave, well, let's use, of course it's a follow-up video for my Star Wars Day video, let's use the Yetis again. Yeah, and because we do have four locators, let's put down four yetis. You could make it a bit more interesting with more locators and less yetis to make them disappear or appear, sorry, randomly. And the properties uh, countdown enabled off, uh, generation delay, let's set them to zero, disable generation effects because that saves a lot of memory. And the friend options, well, let's set it to flee because it makes a bit, it makes this whole thing a bit more interesting. So on the counter, uh, we go to the properties and set the start reset count to four because we start with four uh, yetis and want to count backwards. So by entry in the trigger area, by not the player, by the team, in this case the blue team. We go to the counter and then decrement by one because we want to count backwards. On the other hand, new logic connection when exited, blue team, uh, someone could steal your Yetis by the way. Could be interesting to play with that. And in this case, we say increment by one. Cool. So on the trigger area again, uh, we do a new logic connection when entered by team blue. We go to the sound generator. And I think it is under, whoa, no, vocal, I think, yeah. 
And uh, I'm looking for the baby cry because it's little yetis we have here. The baby crying, cool. Well, not cool that baby is crying, but it's cool in this case. So uh, it's important to turn off uh, 3D sound, otherwise you won't hear the sound in the whole toy box. So on the counter, we do a new logic connection when zero is reached. We go to the sound generator, uh, go to the musical section and play the royal fanfare. So now we have to place the locators for the yetis. And on the radar marker, uh, beacon type, well, let's set it to blue arrow, because it's totally up your choice. Uh, very important, beacon location must be the connected actor. Yep, just like that. Cool. So on the counter, when zero is reached, we go to the friendly wave generator and defeat the wave. So on uh, the friendly wave generator, when wave is generated, we activate the radar marker. And what you should do to make the counter work is a logic connection from the friendly wave generator when wave is generated to the counter and say reset. Uh, otherwise, maybe the counter won't count uh, the eddies coming out and in into the cradle. Uh, instead of using that method, you could use the level starter to make the counter reset when the toy box is loading. So now let's start with our little adventure here. So Baymax is entering the caves, the ice caves of Skull Island, and he has to open this little box here. Oh, what's coming out there? Oh, the ice monsters have invaded here. But Baymax will take care of it. Well, I said it here um, that when you open the box, um, the trigger area I placed in front of Skull Island is activated and when you walk through it uh, uh, spawns the enemies and the yetis. See here. Yep, Baymax, take care of them! So, uh, yeah, now he has to fight the enemies and has to bring the little ones in the cradle. Yeah, and when you take the yetis out, the counter increments. And when you take them back in, it decrements again. Uh oh, but he, I think he's a big fighter. He can take it then. Oh, oh. Yeah. I like to use the older figures because they do have so much potential. Not so much movement, but so much potential. Oh, oh. Yep. Ooh, he has cool movements. Didn't know that. So where's the second one? Ah, there he is. See, and that's what I meant with flea. You have to look for them. Oh, and not only did I use this pen in this toy box, but uh, in my uh, Halloween toy box last year. You know, the Curse of Meaty Island, where Debbie Jones was turned into a ghost as well. You could use this pen for versus games, uh, where you steal each other's things, like yetis maybe. Yeah. And uh, like you can read on my banner on my channel, the limit is your own imagination, really. Oh, and check out uh, Line THD's channel. He has some cool Mandalorian videos there. Yeah, this is the end, and I hope you liked it. Hope to see you soon. Bye bye.